to crew it's me andrea i'm in alaska and what you saw there was me in the middle of a freaking orca super pod oh my gosh they're everywhere that means 50 plus killer whales all around us we were the only boat the only humans in sight <laughs> unreal it was one of the most incredible experiences i've ever had and i learned a lot about whales so you guys asked for it here it is everything that you need to know about whale watching. I'm gonna break this down to like who, what, where, when, and why. When, you wanna pick the right time of year. Summer is the best time of year to be whale watching in Alaska. So it's any time between May and September. June and July are really the sweet spots. We caught that video at the tail end of May. Get it, tail end, like a whale tail. You also wanna pick the right day. So every booklet says a calm, clear day, but what you really want is a cloudy day, especially for humpback whales. The fish, aka whale food, they go deeper when it's a nice sunny day. So when it's a cloudy day, they're up towards the surface. Therefore, the whales feed at the surface. Therefore, you'll see them. But orcas really don't care. So they're like the honey badger. They don't care. <laughs> Next, you want to know where. So Alaska is huge. It's by far the biggest state in the U.S. It's actually from side to side as long as the continental U.S. and the mass of it is as big as California, Texas, and Montana combined. Wow. So there's a lot of area to cover. But to simplify it, the Cook Inlet, so near Anchorage or Southeast Alaska, near Juneau are the best places to whale watch. Next, you gotta figure out who you wanna see. Belugas, anyone? Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Am I the only Raffi fan? Yeah. Anyways, those are in the Cook Inlet. <laughs> then you got humpback whales. Those are Cook Inlet and Southeast Alaska, so Juno. Humpback whales are just so prevalent in Southeast Alaska that a lot of tours will guarantee a sighting. And then orcas. They definitely won't guarantee this one. They are very elusive. They say one in five tours you'll see orcas, but they're usually in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Not Southeast Asia. They're in Southeast Alaska. <laughs> So we found our super pod near Juneau, about 50 miles away at the Lynn Canal near Point Retreat. And it was Captain Jim Collins from Allen Marine Tours that found it. And he went on a hunch. If you need a recommendation of a company, I definitely recommend them. Now it's all about the what. What to do when you're actually on the tour. First of all, be quiet. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Oh. You'll hear all of us are like, shh. <laughs> That's because whales are like humans. They can hear things. You'll have people actually shut off engines because they get scared by it. No loud noises. Um, and they also can see like us, side note. That's why they think sometimes they come up and breach because they're looking at us. So yeah, if you can see the whale, it can see you. Oh you can see it, you can see it. She's swimming fast too, um. she's swimming so fast. You want to follow the spout or the blowhole. So pretty much this goes for any whale, but especially humpback whales have a really set series, which is really cool and you'll sound like a professional. So they'll take between like six and eight different blows. And then on the last one, they'll go down and then they'll actually arch their back, which is why they get the humpback name. And then you get the famous whale tail, not like from wearing a thong, but the actual whale tail. And they'll go underneath and do a dive between six to 15 minutes and then come back up again. So you can time that and you can pretty much to the dot figure out when they're going to be coming up again, when that whale tail is going to be going. It's kind of like a little bit of a science. Orcas are totally different. They don't really have that systematic of a thing. But there's another way that you can follow them and this is the puka. So this is a Hawaiian word and it means footprint. And so you can see underneath, you can see these little like um, bubbles that happen. So the puka is through the tail underneath the water and you can also follow the air bubbles as well. So those are the basics, but here are really cool things that I captured when I was around the super pods. So I saw two mating. That that you're looking at right there is mating. What? Right here? These two right here are mating. No oh, way. That, I did see a fin. Oh, They're having sex right now? <laughs> That's a, awesome. Oh my gosh. Those two. Those two are mating? We know that they were mating because um, our Captain Jim saw. Apparently it was hard to miss, but I still missed it. Okay, one's trying harder than the other. Um, you'll see with the babies that the smallest one has kind of like an orange spot, so the eyes and the saddlebags underneath is usually white, but when they're babies, so between a year and under, it's still kind of yellow, and that's stained from the amniotic fluid when it was in the mother. And then we also got some slapping of the tail, which people think is either for communication or just for fun. Like, hey, we got some people videoing, making a TV show. 
Orcas are a matriarchal society, so you saw all the babies and families together, and then on the outskirts were all the males, and you can tell that they're males because the dorsal fin is so much bigger. This dorsal fin can be about six feet, which is crazy, so big. And when we got to the males, that was really cool too because you saw them all hunting in a line, and then you also saw one sleeping. See that one? That's called logging, where you just hang out at the surface and you're completely resting. That one's sleeping? Wow. When you fall asleep, you just breathe. Yeah. They have to think about every breath. Yeah. So the best they can do is get to the surface and kind of doze. At some point, it won't surprise me if they all 50 of them come together at once to rest. Oh, and on your whale watching tour, you also see sea lions. And there they were just chilling. That's also how they sleep, to get away from things. Although, apparently a killer whale can still kill them up there. Nature, so friendly. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for letting me know what you want to see. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and if you found this helpful, feel free to share it, and enjoy that whale watching.